Welcome to our YouTube video. In today's discussion, we'll be diving into the reliability and common problems of the Honda D16 engine. If you're a Honda enthusiast or considering a vehicle with this engine, you're in the right place. We'll explore the reputation of the D16, highlight its strengths, and shed light on some potential issues you should be aware of. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Reliability all of Honda's engine series have been designed to meet or exceed the highest standards of reliability. Fortunately, the D16 meets those exacting reliability requirements. Many drivers hope their D16S will travel long distances without developing expensive or time-consuming issues. To get to these higher mile markers, though, requires routine servicing, maintenance, and oil changes. Drivers of D16 vehicles hope to travel more than 200,000 miles worry-free with regular, proper maintenance. However, adding turbo kits and other upgrades could shorten the life of your D16. For your Honda D16 engine project, it is crucial to use reliable aftermarket parts and tuning. The various Honda D16 engines have a variety of issues that are frequently reported. The engine's respectable overall reliability may be impacted by issues like a rough idle, oil leaks, and various fault-prone components. After saying that, let's get started with our list of the most typical Honda D16 issues. Common problems, crankshaft issues, Crankshaft sheaves breakdown and bad crankshaft harmonic balancer is one of the most commonly reported issues for Honda D16 engine systems. Generally, the substitution of a crankshaft or sheaves should ultimately solve this problem. However, there can be a variety of different issues causing prematurely worn crankshaft sheaves. Some of the symptoms that may indicate a poorly functioning crankshaft harmonic balancer include engine vibrations, failed power steering pump, irregular engine idle, failed alternator, transmission damage, Engine issues that appear sporadically can be caused by crankshafts that are not operating properly. Again, there are numerous possible catalysts for crankshaft problems. This issue is in the list of hard-to-diagnose problems. Despite the Honda D16's outstanding reliability, numerous drivers have complained about issues with the crankshaft. Therefore, it's critical to find and fix these problems before your Honda D16 engine system suffers from more expensive, inconvenient issues. Rough idle. Most frequently, a dirty throttle body or idle control valve is the cause of this problem. Fortunately, this usually means that any rough idle problems can be avoided with a quick cleaning. Additionally, many D16 systems experiencing a rough idle or poor acceleration may be the result of a failed or compromised O2 sensors. With so many potential causes, rough idle may be challenging to diagnose. The following are a few possible rough idle catalysts for the D16. TPS sensor issues, head gasket failure, faulty MAF sensor, fuel pump failure, dirty throttle valve, faulty ECT sensor. This problem might be a sign of more serious engine problems because a rough idle can be a sign of many different kinds of engine issues. Therefore, we believe it is crucial to identify and fix any engine idle problems before they worsen and become more expensive. Prematurely worn exhaust manifolds. The exhaust manifolds on the Honda D6 are yet another component that might be prone to failure. In particular, when compared to similar engine systems, many drivers report worn exhaust manifolds more quickly than expected. Indicators of faulty or leaky exhaust manifolds include loss of overall engine power, excessive engine noise, inaccurate oxygen sensor. Although there are many catalysts for exhaust manifold problems, these symptoms may be the most typical ones. The exhaust manifold could be held liable due to the fact that it is frequently subjected to expansion, cooling, and both. Due to prolonged exposure to temperature changes, manifolds may crack. Summary, the D16 engine has cemented itself into Honda's history with a production run that lasted for more than 20 years. The D16 was only offered in America as a single cam. The dual overhead cam ZC variant was first seen in Japan. This serves as yet another illustration of the D16 engine's numerous variations versatility. It's difficult to examine the Honda D16 engines too closely given the variety of successful global applications for them. Two of the Honda D16's advantages, availability and affordability, have propelled it into numerous debates that will last through 2023. For many D16 modders, the chance to increase the engine's overall power is appealing. Unfortunately, a lot of those higher power gains require expensive and extensive modifications that many bolt-on upgrades can't possibly make. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.